If astronauts from the European Space Agency have to fly into space, then they are currently dependent on opportunities to fly with them. For example, in SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsules, which are currently being launched for NASA, or in recent years in Russia's Soyuz capsules. The European Union does not currently have its own spacecraft for manned flights. However, that could change in the coming years, because the European aerospace company Ariane Group has now presented plans for a European spacecraft that is said to be even larger and more flexible than SpaceX's Dragon capsules. Dubbed the Smart Upper Stage for Innovative Exploration, or SUSE, the spacecraft will be able to carry heavy payloads as well as crewed missions to orbit before coming down to Earth for a vertical landing. The new spacecraft is drawing comparisons to SpaceX's fully reusable Starship vehicle. And while SUSE isn't quite as impressive, it is a strong indicator of Europe's shift towards reusable rocket technologies. Ariane Group unveiled its SUSE concept at the International Astronautical Congress held in Paris from September 18th to the 22nd. In its press release, Ariane Group announced that SUSE will be able to fly atop an Ariane 64 rocket as well as on future generation rockets, such as the Ariane 6, which is scheduled for launch in 2023. This, the company says, paves the way for fully reusable launchers of the future. The fully reusable upper stage will be able to function as an automated cargo transporter, and it will also be able to carry up to five astronauts on crewed missions. It's still in the concept phase, but its unveiling comes only a short time after European officials admitted they made a poor choice not to opt for reusable rocket technology roughly a decade ago. Speaking of reusable projects, there was a different project last year called the Maya Project. French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire said the country is aiming to make up for a bad strategic choice made 10 years ago. The European spaceship, which is 12 meters long, 5 meters wide, with an interior of 40 cubic meters, should offer around four times as much space as the SpaceX Dragon capsule. The ship should be able to take up to 7 tons of cargo and transport it safely to Earth. SUSE is also said to be good for maintenance and repair work on satellites and space stations. Not only that, it will also help reduce orbital debris and assist with removing or deorbiting end-of-life satellites, the company said in a statement. According to Morena Bernardini, head of strategy and innovation at Ariane Group, SUSE is the result of several years of work by our design teams and provides a particularly ingenious solution for future in-space servicing needs and for automated or crewed flight, the demand for which will only grow in the future. This is a project built on all the existing know-how at Ariane Group and within the European industry. Which raises a question, how does SUSE compare to Starship? Much in the same fashion as SpaceX's Crew Dragon, SUSE will feature an abort system that will launch crew or cargo away from the core stage in the event of an anomaly. In Ariane Group's video animation, they also show the spacecraft performing a belly flop maneuver prior to landing, much in the same way as SpaceX's Starship prototypes have done in real life. There's one key distinction between SUSE and Starship, however. As Rocket Science YouTuber Scott Manley pointed out in a tweet, many stories are making SUSE sound like a European answer to Starship, but it's more like a large dragon or starliner, as it uses a disposable second stage to get to orbit. So instead of acting as the next big step in spaceflight, SUSE will really be helping Europe catch up with the US's current capabilities. By the time it makes it to orbit, however, it may already find itself far behind the U.S. once again, because the U.S. is aiming to send humans to the moon once more using a fully reusable starship as a lunar lander. But it's not just Europe. China is also trying to catch up with SpaceX. And of course, they continue to choose the simplest way, which is to copy and paste. A major arm of China's state-owned space contractor is looking at developing a series of partially and fully reusable launch vehicles apparently in response to SpaceX's Starship. The first generation of three launch vehicles with reusable first stages would have diameters of 3.35, 4, and 7 meters, powered by clusters of 5, 7 to 9, and 9 to 22 long Yun 70-ton thrust engines. The second stage would use vacuum-optimized versions of the engine. 
The 3.35 meter version is to be capable of lifting 2,500 kilograms to a 700 kilometer sun synchronous orbit, or SSO, while the 4 meter variant, a size chosen to meet the maximum which can be transported to China's inland launch sites, could launch up to 6,500 kilograms of payload to a similar orbit. The 7 meter version is planned to be able to launch more than 20,000 kilograms to 700 kilometers SSO while requiring new launch facilities and an offshore platform for recovering the first stage. The technologies needed for a first generation of reusable launch vehicles, including grid fins, navigation guidance and control, and reusable restartable engines, has advanced to the point of being ready for flight demonstrations. Tests would include low velocity and low altitude flights, building up to 100 kilometer level launches. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, that sounds awfully familiar. And honestly, if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, SpaceX must be very pleased with the Chinese space program. SAST and CALT, or the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, are two major institutes under the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the country's state-owned main space contractor. Both produce long march launch vehicles providing different launch capabilities but also a level of competition. CALT manufactures the large kerosene liquid oxygen long march 5 and 7 rockets and is also developing the Carolox super heavy lift long march 9. CALT officials have also presented concepts for reusable methalox launchers and a methane powered version of the long march 9 apparently inspired by SpaceX's Starship. SAST is also eyeing a second generation methane rocket for which both stages would be reusable and be capable of delivering 100,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. The rocket would have a diameter of 9 to 10 meters, similar to the Long March 9, and use 25 to 28 200 ton thrust closed cycle engines on its first stage. The second stage would feature 6 to 9 engines. China has been looking at numerous ways to boost its access to space in recent years, including a range of solid propellant rockets and reusable liquid launch vehicles from the state sector, as well as privately developed capabilities. China's first Methalox rocket, the Zhu Chui 2, developed by private firm Landspace, is expected to launch from Jiuquan in the near future. All in all, SpaceX has completely transformed the space industry landscape. Musk's firm is quite ahead of the game, and it's hard to catch up. For today's episode, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.